very keen in their mental in their minds. Great memory, and uh, I have to kind of refer back to some of that sometimes. Stargazer, yes. It's been so long since that. Stargazer. watching the stars. <coughs> and, and this is how they talked about that. And, and I'm not one that, that knows about it specifically, but this is what I've heard them talk about. That in, in the star world, when you when you study and learn everything about that's out there in the star world, and if there's a certain movement over here in the star world, <coughs> these people would know it. And from that, they can predict something that's going to happen over here. Just from that movement out there, and so that uh, these—that's why they call them stargazers. They have that ability, certain ability. And if you are from that clan, those are things that you should start learning uh, yourself about. Going to the library, and getting some of that information. How do you, if you don't, if you don't know how to remember things? I know there's some uh, wonderful programs out there in, in this world that can assist you in, in uh, developing your memory. No, I should be one of them when I'm taking that, that course or, or learning about that. But, uh, but these people here, you guys, uh, if you're a fish, how many fish are here? One? Just one? I don't know, there's one going around. <laughs> and down there, there he is. That's why you see her sometimes on the weekend on the grass. <laughs> 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 Stargazing. I'll be the white man. Great memory. They're, 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 you need to develop. Shirley Smith, uh, in her building clock, just, just so that you're aware of it. Fish climb, uh, subclimbs in there are fish, uh, turtle, uh, frog, snake, all the fish species, sturgeon, and so on. So if you're in one of those plants, then you belong to the fish climb. If you're a turtle climb, that's where you belong. Water climb, that's what they call it. Uh, the bear climb. There are uh, medicine, very knowledgeable about medicine. There's a guy back here, bear climb, right? I think uh, the guy that brought us here, Pete, is from the right time, right? Yeah. How many bear times do you run here? One, two, three. Oh, my mom's bear time. So you guys are related to my mom. Better you know her. So, uh, you don't tell her I said it's bad. <laughs> Your knowledge about medicine. <coughs> you are the healer. Medicine, healers. Oh, sure. Then we have to check that thing. As a result of that knowledge. Huh? As a result of that knowledge, you are great healers. If you if you don't know anything about it right now, then I, I would strongly suggest that you start learning about medicine. I know you have people here in uh, uh, Red Lake that have knowledge of the barks and the, the, and the grasses and the plants. Those of you from that clan, take some of your tobacco and go and see those people. If you don't know who they are, ask around. You have a midday person here that 
probably knows some other people in the community that, that are in fact great healers or have knowledge of medicines. That's where uh, later on in here some of you guys might want to learn more about Indian, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Viagra? <laughs> I, I don't need people. It's two of These people will know all those medicines. I know I, I, I received from uh, the Mexican people, the traditional Mexican people, uh, a medicine that uh, they gave me, and it comes from the, it's a sap from the pine, uh, sap from the palm tree. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's, I don't know what exactly palm tree it is, but uh, they, they, they gave me the stuff. It's called uh, uh, Copal. Are you familiar with Copal? It's, it's, it's like a sap. You know the pine sap that comes out? It's very similar to that, but this one is white. It, well, most of it is kind of light colored. Now. And, it, and uh, what you do is you, you put it on, like if you have a sponge like this, you put a few grains on there. And you inhale that, and it, if you have migraines, your migraines will be gone in less than a minute, minute and a half. And, and it's really wonderful, man. and it smells wonderful. I was going to bring some, but I, I thought, if I ever got stuff, they, they pulled me over at the border, and they see those little white rocks, like that bunch of them. All our time to explain that I'm not out, you know? So I, I thought, uh, I don't want to be deterred at the, at the border. I said I'd better leave it. But it does look kind of funny that way. Uh, and, and I like the hot powder. It comes like a white powder. And you can just actually tap it onto the, onto your sludge or even on, a, on an element. And inhale that. Uh, it, it just clears your mind. Oh, it's an awesome medicine. And, and, and that's only one of what? Thousands or millions? That out there? I think there's one. When you go out in the yard right here, uh, if you, if you don't call a, a very knowledgeable medicine person out here in the community or from somewhere else, wherever, Bam. and ask them to walk around and describe what medicines that you have in this yard here, they'll tell you you got a lot of medicine here. And what these people should know, the very kind of people, you should know that. And, and I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but what I'm saying is that going back to that responsibility here as a clan, that is your responsibility. That is healing. How do you heal people? You know, uh, a lot of people say, oh, I'm not a healer. Well, uh, I beg to differ. We all, we're, we're all healers in our own way. For example, uh, uh, this happened to me several times over the years, but he called me up uh, 1 o'clock in the morning. He said, uh, uh, Mark's been having a hard time. Uh, do you need somebody to talk to him? Oh, sure. Well, you want to come over or you want to go to a coffee shop somewhere or something? We'll find one and have coffee. Okay, so we'll go out there and sit down and have coffee and chat. All I do is listen. There's a healing process taking place. So in a sense, I'm a healer to that individual because I'm, I'm absorbing some of that stuff that's going on in their life. And hopefully when they leave there, they'll feel better. And then when I get home, I, ha I may have a headache because I've absorbed all of that. And then I have to do something about it. If you ever, uh, as a, I do a lot of traditional work like this, the sweat lodges, healing, and I've done many things like that. One of the things I found out, because I'm, 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 I'm also a politician, when I go to this great big, big gathering, the chiefs and the council members and all these organizations, and there's a lot of uh, political leaders there from Indian country, and a lot of them drink. <laughs> 